Welcome back. I'm now joined by Dave Keach with DK Self Defense. Thank you so much for coming on the show today, Dave. Good to be back again. Thanks and for coming. And we get to sit down. Let's go. Yes, we get to have a seat. <laughs> um, so April is National Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Yes. And um, I just want to start this off by saying that um, sexual assault can be a sensitive topic for some people, but it is never the victim's fault. And today we're just going to talk about um, some ways to educate yourself on the topic and m ways to maybe prevent it, sure. right? Sure, yeah, that's it. Prevention, if a little bit of work into the prevention. Right. You don't have to worry too much about the, uh, the other side of it. You can try and avoid things. Absolutely. And you were mentioning to me earlier that prevention oftentimes starts off young but it can go you know at any age sure yeah um th there's predators out there that are looking for um the predators are looking for victims mm. like i say the victims are not looking to be abused right um and the predators pick on the victim that they're attracted to should we say mm -hmm. um so yeah it affects everybody male female young and old mm -hmm. uh anybody could be a victim if they're targeted by a predator so there's uh kind of different prevention methods you can use depending on your age. Okay. Um, now, what about, a lot of times it's, it happens online. As we know recently, law enforcement agencies came together uh, with an operation that, that um, tackled people who were predatoring, being predators of mm -hmm. um, younger children. Yes, yeah, the, the 11, 12, 13 year olds, the preteens, um, they're new to the adult world. They're mm. kind of uh, dealing with changes in their own kind of bodies as well. And uh, they go out online and uh, there are people out there pretending to be their best friend. There's 40 year old men that are pretending to be 13, 14 year old boys and girls. You, know, right. you don't know who they are online. Absolutely. And they're looking to befriend and then take advantage of yeah. these people. Yeah. And then um, it also happens with teens and even into young adult people get what is called date raped or roofied, yep. right? That's you right. can be out and someone could spike your drink Definitely. very easily. Um, and obviously that's something that we can we can prevent by by watching our drinks, right? Definitely. As the uh, with the kids, we you know, watch what they're doing online. Mm -hmm. Make sure your child isn't locked away in the back room somewhere so you don't know what they're doing. As they get older, we have to let our kids go out and get into the world. So hopefully we can try and teach them how to protect themselves. So, you know, they're going to hit that preteen, that early teen, they're going to start going out. Um, when they're in high school, they're going to go to high school parties, they're going to go to college parties, and um, there are people there looking to take advantage of them. Mm -hmm. It may just be alcohol, it may be drugs. Um, you're talking about date rape, date rape drugs and things like that. Uh, but it could just be getting somebody just a little bit too drunk, a little bit tipsy. They're not going to make good choices when they're in, intoxicated and they're not going to be able to fight somebody off when they're intoxicated because their balance and everything else is going. Um, so, okay, we know kids drink before they're supposed to, mm -hmm. um, but uh, if they're aware of that, if they're, okay, don't drink too much, make sure you give me a call if you need a ride home, don't yeah. trust someone else giving you a ride home. Um, if you're going out with a group of friends, okay, make sure you look after each other. If four of you go out, Make, make sure four of you leave, don't leave one behind. Absolutely. Um, just so you can kind of take care of each other and make sure you're all, you're all safe. Yeah, calling for help is a huge preventative measure when asking for a ride home. Um, but there's other ways to, pre to prevent things or, or ask for help, right? On campuses, yeah. they have the blue light systems. Yes, the emergency buttons, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then there's, there's hotlines for people who maybe just need someone to talk to, yes. or um, if they are a sexual assault victim, that's something that's available to oh them yeah we well. have uh, we have some local resources here that you can get hold of people that uh, are there to help if unfortunately it's gone too late and you've become a victim mm. but uh, trying to avoid it to begin with is, is that main thing um, there are there are some bars that have uh, in the ladies uh, restroom they've got drinks you can order which are not really drinks they're, signals. they're actually signals yeah. to the bartenders that you need some help Absolutely. Um, there's nail polish changes color yep. <laughs> if there's a, a drug inside the drink. So it, it's sad that we should have to do this stuff. We shouldn't have to protect ourselves from these predators, uh, but they're out there, so mm. we have to be ready. And they're, they're great tools sometimes. Well, thank you so yeah. much for coming on the show today. I really appreciate Thanks. it, Dave. Good to be back. Yep, and for more information on everything we just talked about, you can go to westernsofound.com.